This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys, welcome back to another video of our channel and in this video we'll be taking a look on the next gen tools that you have to use. And in that particular video we'll be seeing what we have to replace and what we can use which can give us more efficient and valuable results. But before going to the video, we are having two new announcements here. We are having advanced bug bounty batch 4. In that particular thing, you'll be learning a lot about bug hunting. It's a complete advanced course with all the uh, most advanced methods were available to hit the highest bounty. So you can see all the content here. And after the content, you'll be learning live on things. You'll be giving the, uh, a lot of tools, a lot of notes and many more things. So make sure to check out all the contents in the description. And the second thing we are having is information disclosure bootcamp. This will be a five day bootcamp in which you will be learning how to find information disclosure bugs and a lot of things in which it includes. We will be create making tools. We'll be making scripts on that to find disclosures and many more topics. So make sure you check out this content too. The links are in the description as I already said. And let's get the video. So to be honest on this video guys, we have to replace few things at a uh, I'll say at a period of time, right? We'll be using Wayback URLs from along, but you know, there's few things, there are few tools that are more efficient than Wayback URLs. So in that particular, in this particular video, we'll be taking a look on all of them, right? We are searching for reflected parameters in the particular web page or all those things. We can replace that. We can just find suspicious parameters on its own. We can go with advanced uh, internal parameters or hidden parameters finding. So let's take a look on it. So we are having four major categories here. Wayback, Subfinder or I will say Subdomains, Searching uh, Process and the Param Spider or I will say the Spidering thing. So we can start with Wayback URLs. So we all have been using the Wayback URLs. It is from archive.org. You guys can see this. But okay, we can use this thing still in the 2024, but we, can, we have to do a few more things with it. Maybe we can go to some tools just giving, which will give us more results or I will say which will give us more significant or I will say usable results. So in that particular case, we can use way more. It's a tool by XNL hacker. You can just check out his profile on Twitter or on GitHub. You can just go whatever you want to. But yeah, we can definitely use this uh, XNL uh, hackers tool, which is way more. So way more can get way more can not like it's not limited to way back URLs or icloud.org. It can give us results from Alien Vault, GAU or Wayback URLs which is from archive.org. You can use urlscan.io. So it is using a lot of uh, gathering methods and give us a significantly larger or uh, bigger or a wider attack surface. So you can just check out this tool. It's very simple to install and very simple to use. You can see installation modules on the particular GitHub. It's well structured so there will be no issue installing them. So now the next thing is uh, subdomain finding. So I've already made a video on how to just uh, make this process more easy and more effective. So we can use Bbot. Right? It's a tool from Black Lantern Securities. I've already made a video on this, so you can check out on the channel. But yeah, look, sublister, subfinder, amas, all of them are still very usable on this particular time. Right? A lot of hunters are still using amas and find domain. But yeah, if you can add a few more tools to that. That is no bad, right? You can still use a lot of, you are still having a lot of profit in that. You are not having uh, to run a lot of, uh, you know, tools in different terminals, different sections. A single tool can do the same thing for you. So in that particular case, we are having Bbot. So take a look onto that already video published. The link would be somewhere this here. Now, the third thing we are having is, uh, you know, we would be doing like uh, searching for reflected parameters or maybe searching for uh, the parameters which are suspicious. So there's a tool again from XNL Hacker which is XNL Reveal. You can take a look on this particular GitHub repo. You can simply just go and install it. As I said, a well-structured installation menu is already there. So you won't be having any issue installing it. So what this tool do? 
it can uh, find the suspicious parameters you can find all the reflections and it will give you a pop up if there is a significant uh, exploitable thing on that page so make sure to take a look on all the screenshot of this tool and as i already saying all my videos don't be like someone who uses tool like hyphen h hyphen u and hyphen o come on it doesn't work like that there are 50 options of using a single tool so there must be a use of that it is not like just for showcase you can use all of that for your own uh, benefits onto that hunting process so make sure to check out all the options i uh, use according to your target surface and get more results now the last thing or last but not least i'll say we all have been doing you know uh, the spidering or i will say the hidden parameter finding using arjun and all those tools they are effective i still use arjun on that particular time but still you know there is a case where you are having few false positives maybe you are missing some parameters so on that particular case you can use xnl link finder it's again from xnl hacker you can definitely take a look on this tool so this tool can not only find the uh, particular information from that this tool can do a lot more than just finding hidden parameters so definitely just take a look on this help menu this tool can help more than anything because at least you need to find a lot of parameters and yeah a parameter more parameters mean more vulnerabilities it's always a possibility game so definitely take a look on this tool the installation and all those things are very simple you don't have to do a lot of headache work so definitely take a look on that and you will be just so that was the video thanks for watching and don't forget to check out all the links all the profiles of sen hacker and me i mentioned in the description so make sure to check all of them out and see you guys in the upcoming video